So hello everybody and welcome to Matt the Dragon Railways and today I am going to show you the progress I've been doing on my micro layout. So let's begin. So one of the main things you would have noticed is that the layout has now been ballasted. It's only ballast mat. Um, it's just so it's easier to clean etc etc. But there is a possibility in the future that I will add, you know, some other uh, ballast separate and that could end up being a base layer. So yeah, the little ballast path that I have been gluing that you saw in the last video, that's finished and dried off. Uh, so yeah, um, I should be getting track extension soon. Uh, so that can go to the edge and hopefully I'll find some cheap uh, Hornby buffer stops uh, to go on the end of those because I need a couple of those. Then the next thing is I've actually been doing some paint work. Um, I got this Hornby hut, I don't know when it was from, probably Triang era, uh, but I'm not 100% sure on that. But it was all very unrealistic, meant to be brick, but it was red. And what I'd done is I painted it in uh, with a Humbrol Brunswick Green. Um, I still have little bits of chipped paint from it, which I've added for realism, I guess. As to point out, maybe the walls were previously red. But yeah, it's all painted up in Brunswick Green. And I've added window glazing for effect, so that's come out quite nice. And you may notice next to it, um, I didn't really want to buy new palettes as this is being done on a budget. I haven't actually put any expense really into it whatsoever at the moment because signal box I was given uh, to Natty, um, which I'm very thankful for. And the trees, the shrubbery, you know, everything I've pretty much had all before or was given the ballast mat again, thank you. Washington 01 aka Natty for giving me that um, I've got a friend who's given me that um, extra bit of track so I'm thankful for him so yeah I've, I, anyway I didn't really want to spend money on palettes um, so I just made my own they're not the most realistic but they're nicely glued down by the hut um, now if you look carefully at the signal box um, you may have noticed that I have added a couple signs. This is from an old Metcalf kit for a garage. I just uh, glued those on to add some effect. And another thing you may have noticed is that I uh, have built a platform. Now this is not a kit. This is a natural scratch build. and I'm, It's my first ever scratch build. So I'm quite proud of it. Um, I just used free prints off, I think it's Wordsworth Model Railway. And yeah, I got all the brick off. I painted um, the top of the platform with the grey. And you may just about make out that I have added some strips of printed grey just to hide the gaps. And for the edging, I've just used what's supposed to go on roofs on a Metcalf kit for the garage again so that's the one of the main features the ballasting and the uh, platform I'm quite proud of it yeah it's got a bit of a dip but for a first ever scratch build that has come out really nice and I also plan to add um, some black fencing which I've got coming through the post some gauge master fencing I've got some advertisements printed out so I can add those. Um, I'm scratch building a booking office because this is a micro layout. I've uh, got a very narrow platform, meaning it's best and easier to just print one and, well, print one up, like the brick out and build one myself. So that's all being done by myself. Um, then you've got uh, other stuff that I add, like a kiosk that I'm think. Um, quite thankful for Natty again who's uh, donating it um, to the railway and yeah it's just had some basic things also you may see at the back there's a some back seam 
Now I'll show you up close. Um, it's a photo I found on the internet, but I uh, photoshopped all the path out of it and some buildings that were in the background. And yeah, it's come out quite nice. And also you may notice that I have a little uh, police box from the 1960s. That's from Wordsworth. Uh, stuck it on card. It's not the best uh, thing I've ever done, but it's just a little thing for a laugh. You know, TARDIS and Doctor Who and that. So that'll go on the platform. It won't be where it is now. But yeah, it's it's going to be a nice little layout when done. Um, I can see how nice it's coming along already. Uh, the tracks to be weathered, etc. And I think it will come across as a really nice uh, station. It's going to be themed around the Great Western, um, the Western region. But, you know, it's, I'm going to run steam diesel you know, BR Blue and all that is going to be like a Great Western station that's never really been touched. So, yeah, it's how it will be. Um, I th I'm quite happy with it. I haven't got a name for the layout uh, still, but um, I think I might just uh, give it a name at the end when I look at it and think of different names. Probably look on maps and combine names of different places. I'm not sure. But it is completely made up, but it's based off the Western region. So thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a thumbs up, a good old like, which is just below on the video. Uh, please do consider subscribing and supporting my channel. Um, and please do share this with your friends and leave a comment below. Um, any suggestions for the layout? Or if you just like the layout, or even if you just want to say hello or summer, please do consider commenting as well as subscribing and liking. Thank you everyone, and I'll see you all next week. Goodbye.